Example 1. x times dy equals x plus y times dx. Our first step is to write this equation in the form we have written in red. So we'll go x plus y dx minus x times dy equals 0. Our second step is to check if this equation is homogeneous or not. Let's consider the functions p and q. In this particular case, the p function is equal to x plus y. It's the function standing next to dx. And then there is q function, which equals negative x. Now, equation is homogeneous if both p and q functions are homogeneous of the same degree. Now let's see. p of tx and ty equals tx plus ty. Obviously t can be factored out, so we'll have t times x plus y. And the expression we have in brackets is nothing else than the p function itself. So we can also write t multiplied by p of x and y. As we can see, t is taken to the first power, and therefore this p function is homogeneous of the first degree. Now let's take a look at the q function. And again, we put tx and ty instead of x and y in the expression of the function. So we have negative tx, which can be also written as t multiplied by negative x, which is the same as t multiplied by q of x and 1, y. And again we have t taken to the first power, so the q function is also homogeneous of the first degree. So this means that the given equation is homogeneous. And this leads us to the step number three, where we make a substitution. We can divide both sides of this equation by x, 
and obtain dx minus x times du equals zero. Now this equation is an equation with separable variables. And we can easily solve it. So we have dx equals x times du dx over x equals du and then we integrate the left and the right and obtain u equal to the natural logarithm of the absolute value of x plus the constant and then finally our last step is to return to the y variable and we do that by multiplying the team result by x so y equals e times x or ln of the absolute value of x plus the constant multiplied by x and this is our answer